Hey kids, this is Mr. Cozy and this is video 28. In this video we will talk about dividing complex numbers. We will also talk about how to simplify radicals and get complex numbers as a result. And this was actually the situation that led to the development of complex numbers in the first place. We needed to, to, to take a, a square root of a negative number. So let's get started. Uh, let's divide 2 minus 3i with uh, 6 plus 2i. Now our goal is to do some work and end up with a complex number as an answer. Remember that a complex number consists of a real part and an, an imaginary part. which is multiplied with i. Okay? So that's our goal. Now our trick is going to be the the following. Um, instead of dividing these using some crazy method, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator of this fraction with the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate has the same real part and opposite imaginary parts. So I'm going to multiply this with uh, 6 minus 2i. Same real part opposite imagin imaginary part and what I do to the denominator I also have to do to the numerator okay now the reason why I did this has to to do with with what happens when you multiply any complex number with its conjugate the product of any complex number and its conjugate is a real number. So, so when I, I multiply out the de denominator, I'm, I will end up with a real number. We'll get to that in a second. In the meantime, let's mul multiply out my, my numerator and remember that I need to FOIL first is 12. Let's go back to, per, to a black. First is 12. Outer is negative 4i. Inner is negative 18i. And last is positive 6i squared. And remember that the i squared makes the 6 negative. So I'm going to get uh, uh, 12 minus 6 is 6 minus 22i. That's my my numerator. My denominator, mul multiplying this out, first is uh, 36. Outer and inner cancel out. Outer is negative 12i. Inner is, is positive 12i. Those cancel out. And my last is negative 4i squared. But remember that, that the i is negative 1, which will make this positive. So this is going to be 40. Okay. Now what I need to do is to uh, write this as two fractions. 6 over 40 minus 22 over 40i. And then I need to reduce each part. 6 over 40 is 3 over 20. That's my, my real part. Um, 11 over 40. I'm, I'm sorry. Tw tw 22 over 40 is 11 over 20, and that's my imaginary part. So 3 20ths plus 11 20ths i. And that's the quotient of 2 minus 3i and 6 plus 2i. 
So to divide complex numbers, you, you multiply with uh, the conjugate of the divisor of the, of, the, of the number here in the denominator, and then just work it out. That's how you, you divide. Let's talk about um, taking a s s square root and ending up with a complex number. The first rule is that i only appears when you take even roots of negative numbers. Okay, The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2 because negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. I can take cube roots or any odd root of a negative number uh, without ha um, without having to use any complex numbers at all. Complex numbers only appear when I, I take even roots, particularly square roots. Now the trick is if you take a square root of a negative number, take the negative out as i. So that negative is what turns into the i and then s square root of 16 is 4. So this is 4i. If we take a, if we try something like negative square root of negative 9, that that negative on the outside, nothing ha happens to it. The negative on the inside, I take out as i. And what is the square root of 9? It is 3. So this is negative 3i. Now if I'm, I'm working with something that's not a, a perfect s s square, that's OK. Uh, square root of negative 24, oops, negative 24. The negative comes out as i. And then I just work out a uh, square root of 24. Um, 24 is 4 times 6. So this is going to be 2i radical 6. Or I can write it this way. Some people prefer to write it this, this way. And that's OK. Just make ex extra sure that it's clear that the i is not under the radical. Okay? Let's try one more. Let's try negative square root of negative 32. Um, the negative, nothing happens to it. The negative on the inside comes out as i. Uh, square root of 32. 32 is 16 times 2. So I can take the s square root of 16, that's 4, and the 2 remains under the radical. So I can write it this way or that way. OK? Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, dividing radicals and multiplying with uh, the conjugate, and then taking s square roots of negative numbers and how you end up with, with I. Uh, that's all for the moment. Uh, have a great evening, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.